Welcome to Burger King. Flame grilling since 1954. Can I interest you in a Whopper? Burger King knows how to please its customers in the craziest ways possible. And while in America we all have our BK go-tos, around the world it's a different story. Here are the 10 wildest international Burger King menu items, part two. Chicken Nugget Burger, UK. You, uh, you like chicken nuggets, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Sometimes it can be hard to choose between getting a burger or getting chicken nuggets. They're both delicious and satisfying, especially from Burger King. Well, if you happen to be visiting the UK, you will never have to make that choice ever again because, yes, chicken nugget burgers are a thing over there. It's pretty much your classic burger, a hamburger bun with lettuce, mayonnaise, and spicy sauce, but instead of a beef or chicken patty, you'll find their tasty chicken nuggets between the buns. Basically, it's a chicken burger, just a little fancier and more fun. Wait a minute. It's really fancy! There's also a version from Burger King Germany, and this one is offered with a generous serving of barbecue sauce. Could you just imagine if the spicy nuggets were still on the menu? It would be an even bigger deal. If you're ever curious as to what this nugget burger tastes like, you'll be happy to hear that it's pretty easy to recreate here in America. Just ask for nuggets in your burger. Or if you're really curious, then just hop on a plane and go try one out for yourself. You'll probably be quite content with your decision. I need it! Pumpkin Burger, Japan. Korean pumpkin, I know you're real. Is pumpkin the new bacon? Well, Burger King Japan certainly seemed to think so back in 2012. By now, we can all agree that the menu offerings in Japan are anything but boring and predictable. Their avant-garde vision allows for them to come up with all sorts of new items, like the pumpkin burger, for example. Forget about that pumpkin spice latte, you could literally get a burger made with it. Oh, really? This burger consisted of a beef patty, bacon, lettuce, a creamy nut sauce with sesame seeds, peanuts, almonds, and so on. But to top it all off, two slices of kabocha. And the best part? The bun was kind of even shaped like a pumpkin. This harvest time burger was offered only for a limited time, but it wouldn't be surprising if it eventually was put back on the menu. The pumpkin obsession was reaching new heights that year, and well, pumpkin was appearing in everything. If two slices of pumpkin on your burger weren't enough, there was also a pumpkin bomb, which was basically just a serving of 10 slices of pumpkin. This way, you could just order pumpkin slices and put them on any burger. Mm, I love this burger. So delicious. Mm. Garlic Meat Beast, Japan. Welcome to Japan! Yes! Some people live by a very simple motto. There is no such thing as too much garlic. Unless you're a vampire, of course. You can literally put as much garlic as you want on anything, and it will never be too much. Therefore, it only made sense for Burger King to come up with the Garlic Meat Beast in Japan. As part of their promotion of garlic as a stamina-replenishing food, BK Japan released two garlic-themed burgers during the summer of 2013. The Double Garlic Cheese and the Garlic Meat Beast. The Garlic Meat Beast was nothing if not true to its name. Everything about this beast was either meaty or garlic. Garlicky. Oh, it smells so good! The gigantic sandwich featured a quarter-pound beef patty, a massive piece of teriyaki chicken breast, as well as a pork patty, all smothered in fried garlic slices. Everything was garlic seasoned and covered in a creamy garlic sauce. While this came out years ago, it still generates buzz to this day. It was sure to satisfy any avid garlic lover while keeping away any unwanted suitors, vampires, or undesired close encounters. Don't say a word or I'll haunt your dreams. Pepperoni Bacon Whopper, Canada. Give me your double shiny bacon. Come on. Our neighbors from the Great White North usually have pretty similar menu items as the U.S., aside from a few exceptions, which are usually the tastiest. Burger King Canada once offered a Whopper that looked so delicious, we wished we had come up with the idea ourselves. The pepperoni bacon Whopper was the one million dollar idea that made every Canadian drive right to their local Burger King to try. It featured the classic Whopper toppings like lettuce and onions, but it was also topped with bacon and eight bright red and lightly smoked pepperoni slices for an extra meaty twist. It was the perfect combination of two very popular types of meat. 
Well, that sounds pretty awesome. And we can't help but mention how successful it would be in the States. It also proved that you don't necessarily need a bunch of fancy ingredients to make a tasty Whopper. Sometimes one additional item can be plenty. While, yes, it might have been a little heavy, it was a huge hit. So much so that Burger King even brought it back to the menu one more time, even after they said it was only supposed to be available for a limited time. This burger sounds like a real winner. I, I see this as an absolute win. Meditarian Burger, New Zealand. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boy. For any vegetarian, this definitely was not the right kind of burger for you. But if you were one of those that somehow didn't have enough protein between your buns when you ordered a double Whopper, then the Meditarian Burger was right up your alley. What looks like a not so subtle wink to vegetarians, the Meditarian Burger from Burger King New Zealand made its debut in 2016 16 as a limited time offer. However, it was such a big hit that it was later turned into an entire menu called the Meditarian Menu. Time to meet up! The full meaty was, as you probably guessed, the biggest of the gang and wasn't shy with its toppings. It came with two burger patties along with one crispy chicken patty, six strips of bacon, two slices of cheese, onion, and some tangy barbecue sauce. Basically everything to never make you say you're craving meat ever again. Again. Now, just because the other options were smaller doesn't mean they were any less tasty, it just means that they were probably a little less of a health hazard. While the Meditarian sounds delicious, it's probably for the best that it was only around for a short period of time. It probably would have been too much competition for the other, less meaty burgers. Bandit's gone! What's gone? Bacon Lover, France. I smell bacon. Does anyone else smell bacon? The name says it all. A burger made for those who can never get enough bacon. Bacon in general has received quite the popularity boost in the last few years and seems to have gained an almost cult-like following. So what could be so special about this burger compared to any other bacon burger? Well, Burger King in France and Switzerland made sure to come up with a unique, delectable recipe to give customers the ultimate bacon experience. The Bacon Lover contains two flame-grilled beef patties, along with the regular toppings like tomatoes, onions, cheese, and obviously bacon, but the real deal comes from the bun. With the two bacon-studded buns, you can't help but feel overwhelmed by the crispiness and the extra saltiness you never knew you needed in your life. Oh, mm, that's good pork. Sadly, it looks like this once-in-a-lifetime offer was discontinued and can no longer be purchased. If you're really determined to recreate this beauty, you can always ask for extra bacon on the side to sprinkle on your bun. It might not be the same, but at least you'll get your daily dose of extra bacon. While it may not be the wildest burger ever seen, it sure sounds like one heck of a delicious deal. Delicious! Extra Long Burger, Germany. Extra Long is better! In some European markets like Germany, Austria, and the Netherlands, some menu options from Burger King leave us wondering why we don't have that over here. They always have ingenious new items, each one more delicious than the last. There's one item that we particularly wish to bring from overseas to our BK menu, and that's the Extra Long Burger. The name kind of speaks for itself. It's a burger, but just ridiculously long. The big sandwich consists of three all-beef patties laid out horizontally on a long sesame seed bun. The toppings? Well, the possibilities are endless. There's the chili cheese, consisting of the same three patties with chili cheese sauce and jalapenos, and is offered in all three countries. Then there's the rodeo barbecue version, only available in the Netherlands, which is served with barbecue sauce, cheese, and onion rings. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. I'll have that. While these meaty European sandwiches sound heavenly, the Asian market also has its fair share of extra-long burger varieties. For instance, in Malaysia, there's the Extra Long Cheese Supreme, made with A1 steak sauce, mayonnaise, and cheese. And in other parts of Asia, they have the American Extra Long Chicken Burger. It seems like the Extra Long Burgers are taking over the world. By tomorrow, I will rule the world! <laughs> 
veggie bean burger, Malta. No vegan diet, no vegan powers. Since we've talked a lot about meat so far, let's look at the relatively new vegetarian side of fast food offerings. While fast food is generally more for the meat eaters of this world, there are still some options available for vegetarians, or simply for when you don't feel like eating a fatty burger. At Burger King in Malta, the veggie bean burger is a pretty standard burger, only it contains no meat. The two patties are made from kidney beans, vegetables, and coated in crispy breadcrumbs. It also comes with fresh-cut lettuce, juicy tomatoes, cheese, ketchup, and mayo served on a long toasted bun. Want veggie burger, please? I just gotta use the restroom real quick. Burger King has received a lot of customer demands for more vegetarian options, and so the veggie bean burger was obviously welcomed with open arms. The veggie bean burger was made to replicate the BK flame-grilled taste as closely as possible, and it's safe to say it's pretty darn accurate. Burger King has even given the green light to vegans, saying these burgers were 100% vegan. BK must have learned their lesson after the whole soy-based version of its Whopper that was cooked on the same grill as meat burgers fiasco. So if you happen to be in Malta, trying one of these wouldn't hurt. And enjoy the flight. The Avocado Whopper, Japan. Here, have an avocado. Yay! Avocados have made somewhat of an unexpected impression on the newer generations, and now we can't seem to get away from them. From social media to almost every restaurant menu, avocados are everywhere and in everything. Avocado toast, avocado smoothies, and now, apparently, an avocado whopper. Contrary to what you might think, this creation isn't from a health nut little town in California like we'd expect, but rather from good old Japan. Ahead of their time, as usual, Burger King Japan created yet another wild whopper variation by simply adding some slices of avocado to the classic burger back in 2014. Nothing more, nothing less. It's just a regular Whopper, but with some added creamy super fruit. Fruit, yeah. Any kind of fruit? Since then, a lot of other fast food restaurants have followed Burger King's lead, and other locations across Asia have introduced their own avocado Whopper, like Singapore. But the OG title still belongs to Japan. The one released in Singapore in 2019 was also available as a tender grilled chicken burger instead of the traditional beef Whopper. Each avocado the avocado Whopper was around $7.40, which may sound a little expensive, but when you think about it, have you ever bought anything that had avocados in it for a low price? Probably not. Avocado. No, can't do that. No. Sprout Surprise Whopper, UK. Surprise. What is the first thing that comes to mind when you think about the most universally hated vegetable in the world? The answer is probably something green and smelly that your parents would force you to finish before you could get up from the dinner table. Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts would definitely never win a popularity contest, so why Burger King in the UK decided to use them in a Whopper is still a mystery. Tweaking a Whopper is always risky business, but Brussels sprouts? Really? It just seemed like a dare gone wrong. The Sprout Surprise Whopper came out as a limited-time holiday special. What are you waiting for, huh? They wanted to use a classic festive ingredient that so often gets overlooked. Maybe there's a reason why they get overlooked. Needless to say, the response from the public wasn't too positive, but Burger King UK was confident that serving some mushy Brussels sprouts with Swiss cheese would be a huge hit if people just gave it a try. The idea of having these sprouts on a burger just sounded too odd for most. This might just be the one BK item we're glad we don't have over here. This burger would be every kid's nightmare. No! Hungry for more? Tap or click for more great videos, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell to join our notification squad.